Hey everyone, it's been a few days. I got my power chair and I'm going to show you a little brief video that my husband taped of me yesterday in it showing you some of the features and I'll tell you a little bit about the process of getting it first. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. <music> Before I show you the video sharing with you the features and a better view of my chair, I want to share with you just a little bit about the process. I'm very blessed with very good health insurance. Um, spent 20 years as a United States Air Force wife, and thankfully, because of that, I got to keep my medical insurance, which is a true blessing. Without it, I don't know what I'd do. But even with that, the cost shares, the co-pays do add up, and it's very serious. But I keep trying to realize that I'm truly blessed compared to so many who don't have the insurance that I have and have less options than I do. As difficult as it is for me, I realize that others have it much worse. My doctor did have to fill out a prescription and I had to go through a lot of specialists and therapy evaluations. They all had to write to uh, my insurance and fill out paperwork that the adaptive mobility company actually had to send off to my insurance to guarantee that they would be paid for my chair. The doctors evaluate you, the therapists evaluate you, and basically decide what your needs are, what sort of chair you need. And because of that, different things get added, the type of chair you get is recommended, and all of that gets submitted. Now, for some, it can take months, and it did for me. It took quite a few months. Most of that, though, was not due to insurance, to be fair. Most of that was due to trying to get all the appointments together, see all the specialists. There was a trip to North Carolina in the middle of that to Wake Forest for neurosurgeons and stuff as that. So it, it was a bit of a process, but it all went through. And honestly, once it did, it was just a matter of weeks before my insurance approved it. And um, just a couple of weeks later, I had my chair. It was delivered yesterday, and um, my insurance pays 75%, and my out-of-pocket is 25%. I did get a little help from a foundation, uh, not much, and then I had some amazing people donate. My out-of-cost for this chair was actually, they gave me a 10% military discount, so my out-of-pocket was $5,100. And I had 2,600 of that to pay toward it, which left me a balance of $2,500, which I don't have. Every dime that we make goes to pay our bills and leaves very little and nothing for large expenditures like this. You know, basically, our we live month to month and our bills are paid, but we don't have a lot of money and we don't have savings in the bank. We're senior citizens and it's a tough go. So I didn't have 2,500 to pull out of a hat. And so I was just honest with uh, my mobility company. It's located here in Bristol, Tennessee, and they have worked with me amazingly. The therapist there is just, I can't say enough good things and um, they're just wonderful. And they really worked with me, and they agreed to work with me on the payments of, of $2,500. So, I'm going to pay payments on that. And if anybody would like to help me with some of the expense, because this is just one of many that I have. I have loads of expenses for redoing bathrooms and setting up. I still need a lot of changes made for some areas that... The power chair won't go over that I used to with the mandrel could 
pop a little wheelie and go over. I can't do that now in the power chair. So I do have a lot of expenses ahead of me. And little by little, we're trying to do that on our own. But if anybody would like to help me, I would so appreciate it. And I know God would bless you for that. And in the description box below, there's a link to my PayPal account. That goes directly to me. The fees are minimum for me. And there's no fees to you for giving. And so I would appreciate that if you'd like to do that. Just please keep me and my husband in prayer. If you're a praying person, I appreciate any and all prayers. So thank you. In the meantime, let's just get on and uh, you'll see my chair. I'll show you some of the elements. Um, there's more to it, but that gives you the basics. And this is truly going to change my life. I spent 85% probably or more of my day in my bed because I couldn't sit up in the way, sway back seating of the manual chair. I couldn't sit in that. I couldn't sit straight up and this one has tilt and recline and I, I don't have to sit up. I have a horrible problem with circulation and this may not be a cure-all for everything, but it helps in many, many ways. And it adds quality to my life, and it gets me out of the bed during the day. I get to enjoy my home, being out about with my husband in the living room, and I get to go to the dining room table to eat. It's just amazing. I can get my closet because this chair has a 13 inch elevation. I can raise myself up to choose my own shirt, my own clothes out of the closet instead of having to make my husband move everything. There's just so many pluses. So I just wanted to share it with you. I call it my big rig. I think I'll name her Matilda. <laughs> I name my cars. I know. It's funny, but that's me. I'm silly. But anyway, so enjoy the video. And I just wanted to share my excitement with you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll answer them. God bless. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, I got my new chair. This is it, the big mama. Well, actually I call it my big rig. And this is in the regular mode, just setting position. I have all sorts of options. I can elevate it 13 inches, which I'll show you to where I'm standing. And it helps me to get things out of the cabinet, out of my closet, off of the shelf, all different things. I can rise up to the countertops, to the sink, which is a big plus. And that's how high I can be. I'm actually taller then the five foot, five inches I used to be, which I love that. I always wanted to be a tall woman. And I can also tilt, which I'll take my, I can tilt with it elevated, but I am having vertigo, had a pretty bad spell earlier when they were here delivering it. So it works better on me if I'm not elevated. I can, that's reclined. I can recline my seat back. I can also tilt the whole chair and lay back. And I can go back further than I'm going to go because it makes me very sick. I've got to adapt to it where I have been in bed about 80% of the time. I need some time to adjust. So this is my new chair. If you notice, it's Tennessee Orange. Thanks to everyone for all of your prayers. God answered those prayers. I got my chair. Praise the Lord. 